It's a quest no hard Enduro warrior can deny. Some call it the most enjoyable race of the season. Others say conquering Mount Olympus is anything but easy. We are heading back to Turkey for Red Bull Sea to Sky, where good times and rugged riding await. For the fifth stop of the season, the beautiful Turkish Riviera once again invites the Hard Enduro Circus to its shores. In its eighth year, the format is the same, but the track will look very different. It's a three-day race, each day featuring a different styled course that will test the riders' abilities. First is the beach race, where the riders leave their chairs in the sand and hop on the bike for a full-out sprint along the coast, followed by an enduro cross track to set the field. Day two is the forest race, which is 100% brand new. Flowing trails through the trees will make for a real hard enduro paradise, Mediterranean style. Finally, on day three, it's the mountain race, where the riders must go from the sea to the top of Mount Olympus, all 2,365 glorious meters. There's 60% new tracks, but you'll still get dark canyons, massive rock valleys, and sprinkled in with some seriously high altitudes, the riders face a true test of endurance and determination, fit for the ancient gods. Only the most talented riders can make it to the top. Luckily, we got them all. Fresh off his hat trick at Red Bull 111 Megawatt, Johnny Walker is back and at full strength, looking to make a comeback in the world rankings. Winning Red Bull Minas Riders and Red Bull Romaniacs, Graham Jarvis hasn't left the podium this year and will be looking for his fifth Sea to Sky trophy. KTM rider Alfredo Gomez is always a threat, especially with this year's impressive Red Bull hair scramble victory. Fellow Spaniard Mario Roman has earned runner-up the last two races. Could this be the race he takes the final step? Sherco teammate Wade Young has had an unlucky streak, crashing at this year's Red Bull Romaniacs and suffering a mechanical failure at Red Bull 111 Megawatt. If the South African can stay on the bike, he has as good a chance as any to raise the crown. And finally, last year's winner Lars Anikol will do his best to defend his title. Sand, sun, and the world's best riders in battle. If that sounds like the vacation for you, tune into Red Bull TV to catch all the highlights.